Well, we had a lot shown off to us within the Call of Duty World War II beta up to level 35 as of making this. This was something that we had a lot of hands-on experience with the weapons, the menu, the divisions, the basic trainings, the secondaries, the lethals, all that kind of stuff in which we ended up seeing a lot of what we'll see in the full game. Of course, there's still some things that a lot of people are looking forward to, including some weapons that we have yet to see in the beta. But one thing that we have not seen yet, and I've been thinking about for quite some time ever since being out at Sledgehammer and getting my first-hand experience with the division and the menu setup and everything like that is the topic of the final tier of each division. We know that you can rank up each division up to a rank of five, but in the beta, we only get to do up to rank four. So we got all the skill sets and everything that were allocated with each division, but we did not end up getting that final level in which upon completion, it would give us a classified weapon that fit that division classification. So therefore, infantry would give you a classified assault rifle, the airborne division would give you a classified SMG and so on and so forth. So while we have seen absolutely nothing on this, one thing that's gotten me thinking are the two different ways that this could potentially go and one of which could potentially change up the entire meta of how we rank up and unlock weapons and what we've known of so far in the Call of Duty franchise. So I'm going to break down these little two topics that I had for you guys today in this video and just engage in a little bit of a discussion once again here at this on if it's possible, if these make sense and anything else here that pops up. So first and foremost, this is all speculation and just a little bit of theory. We have honestly no information on this. So your guess is seriously as good as mine. This is just a shot in the dark and some things that I think could work out, but again, may not end up happening as such. But let's start out with what we know, which again is very little, and especially in the focused points of the classified weaponry. What we do know is that there will be variants in Call of Duty World War II. These are not gonna be statistical variants like we saw in Advanced Warfare, where some weapons are actually better than others. Instead, they're just gonna be cosmetic reskins of the weapon. So perhaps say like an ornamental version of a weapon, something that is hung behind a general's desk or something like that. You end up having some intricate patterns, some different camos on it, whatever it may be, where it's just all visual and aesthetic changes to the weapon. Nothing itself is actually changed. That's where I think we could see our first potential for these classified weapons, whereas we end up getting a variation, something that is very similar to that of, say, the Golden Desert Eagle from COD 4, where you rank up and you hit that certain portion in which you unlock another version of the weapon, where we had the Golden Desert Eagle available at level 55 at commander in COD 4, but the Desert Eagle itself was available at level 43 for unlock. So that is something that could potentially happen, but this is where it kind of stems off into another thought that I have, which honestly could completely change the entirety of how the weapon unlock system works in Call of Duty World War II. Now let's take that same exact scenario in which we have the Golden Desert Eagle from Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Let's say that this same model applies for Call of Duty World War II, where we'll get an ornamental version of a weapon from World War II after we completely unlock our division. Once we get that rank number five, we can end up getting an ornamental version. This is where this then starts to create a little bit of a problem though, because if that's the case, you could theoretically, let's say you get an ornamental MP40 for ranking up the airborne division. If that's the case, you could technically rank up your division to rank five by rank 15 or so if you end up just using it straight through. And honestly, probably a little bit earlier. I don't remember what I ranked mine up to last weekend and how fast of time. But if it's say theoretically the MP40, that's the ornamental variation, you could get that unlocked by rank 15, but it's possible that the MP40 wouldn't be a valid unlock until rank 45 or so. So this is where this little discrepancy comes into play in which you'd have one very variation either locked behind that base weapon locked wall until you reach a certain rank or you'd end up having something in which you'd cheat the unlock system. So to me, that's where this idea kind of breaks down a little bit in which it wouldn't necessarily work, but that unlock system could necessarily still apply. So if we don't get a necessary ornamental version of a weapon, what if we got a weapon that is iconic in its role as an assault rifle, an SMG, a sniper rifle, an LMG, or a shotgun? What if that was something that it doesn't have a designated rank unlock, 
but it's something that you can unlock by ranking up each division to that rank number five. So once again, sticking with that theoretical MP40, what if we can rank up the airborne division to rank five by the time we get to say, once again, rank 15, where then we unlock the MP40 as a usable weapon for the entirety of that prestige. And we wouldn't have to wait until we are rank 40, 45, 50, whatever it may be that it's actually unlocked at or previously thought to be unlocked at. And then once you prestige, you reset all your divisions and you have to rank up once again to which you can still unlock it early on but not have to wait as long and you wouldn't keep it the entire time you ranked up through each prestige so essentially getting an iconic weapon at whatever speed you want to instead of having to wait until a certain unlock level to be able to unlock it in a standard situation I think that this would be a very interesting way to change the meta of how we approach weapon unlocks and of course with it being something that there would only be five of each it'd be really intriguing to see how this works out. Once again, I definitely think that it could transcend that prestige model then in which you have to redo it every single time, but with it being something where you can get them so early on, to me, I don't think it would necessarily be that big of a deal in terms of resetting it each prestige. But that's just me, and of course, once again, this is all theory and speculation. So, once again, my two little thoughts here on this is maybe it's an ornamental version of cosmetic reskin of a weapon that we would get at some point in time for ranking up each division to that level five max, or maybe we end up completely changing how we unlock weapons in general. That said, that's where we're gonna wrap it up. I would love to get your thoughts and feedback here on this because I was thinking about this for quite some time. And honestly, I think that this kind of makes sense on how it could work, but maybe I'm just a little bit biased by my own idea and opinion here with this. Maybe you guys could completely think this is the stupidest idea possible. Maybe you think it's awesome. Whatever it may be though, let me know down there in the comment section down below. But that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay updated with everything we have here regarding Call of Duty World War II. And even though things are winding down in terms of what we've seen with the beta and now moving forward into a little bit of a dry period before the launch of the game. We'll keep you covered with anything that you need to know and of course anything else COD related as well. So if any of that interests you, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to check out my conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said and out of the way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.